it looks like capital games decided to buff supreme leader kylo ren two months a little over two months since the galactic legends release and they're like you know what we're gonna buff supreme leader kylo now one of the big catalysts for all this is because uh they saw that gas could basically solo supreme leader kylo and i thought this we talked about this before there was just a simple fix that they could have done to make sure gas can't solo it but not really nerf his viability against supreme leader kylo well they kind of it seems like they weren't happy with how supreme leader kyle was performing in general and gave quite a few bombs let's go ahead and show it over on the forum post that we'll bring you over here as you guys know imperial tie bomber in the game we will be doing a video tomorrow on that so stay tuned and wait but this is the most important part that we're going to talk about in specific to this video right here updated supreme leader kylo ren's leader ability supreme leader kylo uh supreme leader will have the following all dark side allies gain plus 30 speed that's a huge bump right there. And that really opens up a lot more theory crafting potential for Supreme Leader Kyle Ren. I don't think anyone was calling this. I think this is, again, just because they want to make him a bit more PvP viable compared to Ray. And then Dark Side allies can't be critically hit while they have advantage. This is the main thing addressing General Anakin Skywalker. And just in general, it's going to help his team be a bit more durable against uh, almost any team that's trying to put out big hits and this right here just seems like hey you know we'll add it this wasn't needed to stop gas cheesing his way through supreme leader Kyle Ren. so what does this mean we're gonna hop into battle in a moment and show you how this actually operates in application but really pretty significant buff to supreme leader kyle i already already thought he was a pretty solid character i know the gas cheese was kind of annoying uh i know in 3v3 for example ray definitely has the upper hand in terms of a defensive team but these are some pretty significant changes and this right here alone oof, that's gonna suck for a lot of our counters that were developed with a focus on general anakin skywalker so let's go ahead and hop into battle see if we can find a, a gas team on defense to kind of start our uh testing out here none over here let's see if we can find one over here oh boom beautiful right here so let's go ahead and program a typical supreme leader kyle and just show you how it works because one thing i will admit before the ultimate ability kylo ren had a severe disadvantage against general anakin skywalker because as we know general anakin skywalker would just keep hitting kylo over and over again and he could never use his specials and if he didn't have the ultimate ability you're stuck using the basic the whole time against skywalker so this is a fairly standard kylo ren team let's go ahead and hop in show you what it looks like and uh, we'll try not to use the ultimate ability because obviously the ultimate ability is what really made kylo fine against general anakin skywalker so we're going to start off like we normally would but now our team is going to be so much faster because of that 30 extra speed we're now able to outrun things like captain rex 30 extra speed on an already fast hux pretty big changes now we're gonna just pass that turn over to kylo so pretty standard so far with what we're doing let's go ahead and just pop uh, another hit here keep uh, increasing our stacks of siphon and a moment we'll pass another turn first order officer with an extra 30 speed is huge imagine that extra 30 speed on characters like grand admiral thrawn where every little speed is gonna help you out drastically uh, so we're gonna try to dwindle this team down in a moment or so we can just get to that gas versus kylo solo because that was the moment where you can kind of get treated here we go big aoe here all right we didn't kill anyone off here get rid of five bam 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 he's gone let's get rid of uh wreck we have the ultimate we're gonna kind of save it here for a moment and then let's see if we can get our counter and okay gas is gonna get up so we have to go through several gas but look no critical hits therefore no cooldown increases imagine without that little buff right there we wouldn't be able to use any of these two abilities right but here we go we can stun him now that's the big change against general anakin skywalker and it's a pretty significant one not just for this match in particular but just in the matches in general this is going to definitely make the kyle run owners a lot happier because one of the things that people are concerned about is like oh man why did i get this character he's not going to be uh nearly as good as ray and now he's definitely a bit more competitive so here we go we're getting into the final showdown here let's get some advantage on uh this dude here but look no cooldown increases right there we had the critical uh, damage immunity granted but here we're not gonna use our ultimate let's just use our basic try to get him the counter attack let's see look no cooldown increases just here we're gonna do this just we're gonna take our time i know we could win this a little bit earlier but i just want to try to get to a gas solo right here no cooldown increases see look we're able to keep using our special abilities yes we could have won the battle earlier but the point being is that we're able to let's see can we okay we couldn't delay it anymore normally without the ultimate kylo would get treated by gas that is a huge bump in viability let me see if we can find maybe a kylo run on defense most people are running ray and then i was getting messages saying oh oh here we go we got a, a, a team right here let's see if we can bring in uh our own 501st 
and get something done. Here we go. Let's put in a 5 0 first. But I was getting some messages saying, as a Ray owner, should I be upset? That they made all these changes i don't know i mean ray is still a very solid character and in my opinion probably still gonna be the better defensive character out of the two right here but here we go we're gonna go with our own five first and just watch what happens we probably aren't gonna be able to solo this like we were in previous videos let's see if we can try to start working on general hux right here we can't really call many people to assist we'll call on the arc trooper for the assist right here we can't do any turn actually we could do a turn meter game because it's not a full uh, five uh, first order team you know i think they kind of went a little overkill with this buff because really if you just added malik we showed that the cheese wasn't really all that possible so i think they just kind of wanted to go overboard because they just weren't happy in general with their all-around vi with kylo's all-around viability so we're gonna try to see if we can push to a solo here but with malik there i don't think it's really gonna matter all that much see with advantage the benefit is when people are using malik the benefit is right here. Look at that advantage. We're not going to critically hit him. So we can call people for an assist. Uh, they're going to go after fives anyway. So let's just get uh, our trooper for the assist here. There we go. We got the advantage on. But look, no one has fear because we can't critically hit Malik. So let's see if we can still pull off this banner. Come on, fives is taking a beating. There goes fives. He's down for the count. We're still going to go after this dude right here. Keep using our basic. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, gas. All right. So we're back up and running. And the brilliant thing is this kind of in a way nerfed malik because look no critical hits so skywalker's not feared and he's going to counter his way through malik so in one way they buffed him but in another way they kind of ruined some of the theory crafting now people might not be using malik as much in this particular lineup because look we're just gonna kind of burn through this guy and not get any fear that's the whole point of malik is to get the fear and now he's gone so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of pros to this, but at the same time a lot of cons but it looks like we're gonna get to a solo right here this is where the highlight is if you try to go after gas, it's not going to quite work all that well. Let's see if we can try to delete uh, this dude at least. Boom. Boom. There we go. He's gone. That's the benefit of Supreme Leader Kylo. The fact that he had that anti-critical damage built into that advantage stopped gas from winning this. That could have been a winnable gas battle right there because we normally would have been able to critically hit Kylo Ren, increase his cooldowns, and he'd only be able to use his basic, thus allowing gas to counterattack. Let's bring a raid. Switch it over. It's people are saying, oh, it's going to be impossible for Ray to win. I've already ran some battles with Ray. It seems like Ray's not going to have any problems against it still. Ray is still a fantastic team. Kylo's buffs, they aren't going to stop Ray from doing her instant sudden whirlwind capabilities here. Let's see, where's our crew? Let's just do a typical resistance team that we normally would see. Uh, let's see, we'll put in, um, I don't know. Let's go throw in what we, what do we normally like? We like to throw in, let's say, Chewbacca. And then we'll throw in, uh, what else do we want? You know, oh, one of my favorite combos that people have been using is by plugging in for example uh let's see uh kenobi or general anakin skywalker and there we go we'll just stick with this for the time being let's see if we can still win i've ran some battles last night after the buff doesn't seem to make that much of a material difference here they're going to still be programmed to go after gas and wait for a moment here i'm going to show you a battle that cup seems to be beating this team so we'll get there in a moment let's see let's uh do this let's do our little terminator swapping action right here actually yeah let's do this let's do this we're gonna go ahead pass some terminator Paul. let's get some inspiration going go ahead pop that increase uh the stacks on ray fantastic there we go so we already lost finn that's actually quite unfortunate right there so let's see what we can do let's go keep getting this over here all right boom big hit on skywalker yet again we got to get a good sudden whirlwind ray let's come on let's go girl let's get around this malik right here. here we go let's just go ahead and delete malik so there we go that's still not good nothing's gonna change in that regard so let's go ahead now i don't know give this over to ray again start working on hux gas all right we should have another sudden whirlwind ready let's go ahead and just uh we're not even gonna use our ultimate right now let's just go ahead do a little flip right here boom oh and granted this is not an ultimate supreme leader collar so obviously an ultimate would make this a little bit more difficult but again when i was testing out yesterday the ultimate hasn't seemed to make that much of a difference so if you're worried that your ray it didn't get a buff alongside supreme leader kylo i don't know if you should be all that concerned about it we're not even gonna use our alter let's just keep using this right here and let's see uh flip this up get some retribution let's see if we can get the counter attack so even without me using the ultimate we are gonna be able to be perfectly fine up against supreme leader kylo doing the same thing go da, 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 da. call one to the assist i know one of the other complaints is supreme leader kylo is already very solid in things like the pve stuff raids and all that stuff and i agree ray is not as amazing inside of uh non-raid kylo she's just okay she's fine in the light side territory battles but kylo definitely already had a pretty solid advantage in the raid content and he was a decent pvp character so if you're worried about ray losing to kylo 
That doesn't seem to be the case. That was even a messy battle because Malik got a lucky hit on Finn. But overall, Ray's not going to have that much of a difference. So don't cry if you're a Ray owner. Ray is still very solid. As I'm going to show you right now, for example, uh, my opponent attacked my Ray after the buff to Supreme Leader Kylo. And my Ray is still holding on defense. So the point being, Ray is still going to be a fantastic character. Ray is going to have an upper hand against a lot of other teams out there. And Kylo's still going to have a little bit of problems. But overall, Kylo's buff... The main thing that they're trying to address, it seems like, was making sure gas wasn't as good against Supreme Leader Kylo. So I think that was one of their concerns. The whales are probably not happy that gas was treating Kylo Ren, especially the non-ultimate variant. But as we see here, the gameplay I just showed you and this little clip right here provided by uh, No Joe, there's some... Uh, Kylo's not going to be breaking the game. I think Kylo's more up the tune with Ray now for sure. He's not going to make Ray trash. He's not, he's not going to be trashed by gas. If that was their goal... They seem to have satisfied, but as we see here with Cup <laughs> under a Padme lead right here, yeah, they're going to end up winning this battle. Kind of spoiler, because the way the devs coded these Galactic Legends is a bit absurd because they hard code these characters. They have priority. So if Fives is there. They have they want to make sure they kill Fives before anything else. As you notice, they're not even going to use their AOE right here because they're so obsessed with making sure they kill Fives off and not get a sacrifice. So they're still cute ways to get around. The Supreme Leader Kylo buff due to the Padme Amidala lead and Sith Trooper Larry attacking on turns. They're not even going to kill anyone off. They're just going to keep working on fives the whole entire time. So point being, ladies and gentlemen, I know it, it's a little hurtful that a full 501st team or even the gas cheese with the five, a random 501st isn't probably going to be as viable as it was in the past. But the point being here is that Ray's going to be okay, and if you're still looking for ways to beat Supreme Leader Kylo, looks like there's plenty of ways to still do it, and there's some upside to it. As I showed you, Malik, for example, a pretty popular variant with Supreme Leader Kylo. Now you can't, now he can't be critically hit, which defeats the purpose of having Malik in there because he can't apply fear anymore. So in my opinion, this buff, I think, was probably maybe a needed buff for Supreme Leader Kylo. It didn't make him invincible. It's making him fairly competitive with uh, more of a raid in terms of the PvP viability. So overall, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys happy, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren owners? I think you should be happy. The extra 30 speed and the anti-critical hits will make your uh, Kylo Ren more viable. And let me tell you, getting that altered ability, I just got it on my other account, Free to Play, took over two months later to get the altered for Supreme Leader Kylo. And during that period where you're farming for that ultimate, it was really annoying having gas destroy Supreme Leader Kylo. But here we go. Boom. They're going to end up winning this. Let's kind of fast forward it a little bit. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be our video. So are you happy with this buff? You think this was a little overkill? You think it was underkill? There probably will be some people thinking that, uh, you know what, this buff, still not enough for me. I think it's more than enough for Supreme Leader Kylo. He's not broken. He uh, might be, be the... Uh, I wonder if people are going to start thinking he's going to be the better character to have over Ray because now he's a more competitive in PvE. And... I think he's got, he's got way more PvE viability than Ray. Would love to hear your thoughts. Like, comment down below, subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And I'll see all you lovely people in the next video. All right, Gary, roll out the outro, buddy. Woo! Gary. Are we really going to do this again, bud? Just roll it out. Thank you. <laughs>